Welcome to Pins and Things. Today we're going to be making this Halloween Peeps spider cake. What you're going to need is some already baked cakes, and these are just nine inch rounds. And then you're also going to need a, a tray to put them on, some white frosting, a bunch of marshmallow peeps that are ghost shaped, and then some black icing in a tube, some semi sweet chocolate chips some tin foil, a printed picture of a spider, you can do whatever size you want, and then some wax paper, some tape, and some orange food coloring. I'm just using a box cake mix that's a white cake mix, and then I've already sprayed my two 9-inch round pans, and now I just have some orange food dye, and it's gel, and I'm just dipping my butter knife in there. And it's got tons on there right now, so I'm just going to start mixing it throughout the cake batter. Now that it's all mixed up, I just added a few semi-sweet chocolate chips to give it a little bit of an orange and black look, and now I'm going to cook it. I'm just taking my orange food coloring and getting a bunch of it on my butter knife. It almost looks like blood. And then I'm just going to mix this in and make it really a really good deep orange color. Now that that's beautiful and done, I'm going to take some of it and put it on the inside. This is going to be between the two layers of the cake. And now take your cake, your other cake, get it out of the pan, flip it so the two flat sides are laying on top of each other. It's like a giant hamburger. Cheese sandwich. It's a giant cheese sandwich. <laughs> and now I'm just going to put my frosting all over the whole cake. Now I'm just going to make a spiral with my black frosting. And I just put it in a baggie to be able to squirt it out. And now I'm just taking my toothpick and making these lines in it that will give it that spider web shape that we're looking for. And while the outside of the cake is still sticky, I'm gonna put my little peep ghosts on the outside and it makes it kind of look like they're holding hands too. How cute. <laughs> on my last cake that I did, I accidentally put one of the peeps on backwards and it made it look like the eyeballless peep. <laughs> it was so funny and it drives me crazy whenever I watch that video. <laughs> And I have this tin foil. I want the spider to kind of stand up off of the cake. So I'm just putting the tin foil underneath it so that it will stand up and be a little bit more creepy. And people will wonder, how did you do that? And now I have my wax paper that's gonna go over the top of that. And now I have my chocolate chips in my bowl and I'm just gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time and then stir it after each time. So I put my melted chocolate into a baggie and then I just trimmed the corner of it. You can kind of see right there. And now I'm just going to draw out my spider. I'm gonna take my time on this because I really wanna make it look good. And now I'm going to put it in the fridge for just a little while until it's kind of not as shiny and is hardened up a little bit and then I'll just build it up from there. So just one layer wasn't enough. I actually needed to go over it uh, two times with at least two times on the legs and then I went and put it back in the refrigerator to cool down. And then on the top I just put a little bit of texturing to make it look a little bit more like a spider. Now I'm just very carefully taking it off of the plate and off of the wax paper. Here we go. Let's see, where should I put it? I'll put it right. Perfect! I hope you liked this video. If you want, there's a couple different variations you can do. If you want little spiders, you can just use the rings, the plastic rings, Halloween spiders, and just poke them all over the cake. There's so many things you can do with this cake. It's just endless possibilities. So, 
uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and then also check out my Facebook page in the link below in the description try this cake it's really cute you should try it it's adorable click here if you want to see our other Halloween treats we've got some witch hats Oreo witch hats Oreo bugle witch hats oh so delicious and we have some Twinkie Mummies right here. We also have some eyeball cookies right here. So click on our videos, watch some fun stuff, and it will probably make you really hungry. <laughs> it always does to me. But it's so worth it. They're so yummy. Happy Halloween. <laughs>